difficult to remove, poor results, and accidental slips. Fuck. So in this video, let's talk about how to optimize supports and their related settings during printing. Here's what we need to say up front. The best case scenario is actually to avoid using supports whenever possible. Take this T-shaped model in my hand as an example. For a standard print, you must add supports. Otherwise, the top part will just collapse, which is a huge failure. But by adjusting the print orientation in the software, you can print it without using any supports at all. Brilliant, right? Besides that, another solution is split printing. We can break down more complex models and print them separately. Reassemble them and you're done. Now, back on topic. Let's get into how exactly to optimize supports. First, you should give up on standard supports and choose the more advanced tree supports. Tree supports not only save more materials, significantly reducing your printing costs, but more importantly because they have fewer contact points with the model. They are easier to remove, cost less damage to the model surface. Overall, you'll just be getting a better model. Second, you should reduce the tip diameter and branch density. In the tree support settings, these two parameters greatly affect the print quality. They directly determine the mark situation and how easy it is to remove. As long as it's not a very large model with extensive overhangs, typically set the tip diameter around 0.8 millimeter and the branch density around 10%. Finally, don't overly trust the software itself. Instead, you should carefully observe your model. Even though this Cobra S1 combo printer is beyond excellent, and its built-in support detection can handle 99.99% of situations, when facing some complex models, it still needs our experience to assist. For example, troublesome parts like clothing or capes often aren't recognized well by the software, requiring us to manually add support. There, that's all for this video. Do you have any other support optimization tips? Welcome to share them in the comment section. See you in the next video.